Hey, how are you guys doing? My name's Mike Mooney, this here's Silk Road Domination. And now uh, we're gonna be doing a little, um, Q&A slash commentary type thingamajig today. And you may have already noticed that I still have a cold and stuff, and I, I, I still sound a bit weird. So that's, that's what that is. I mean, I was gonna do some live commentaries and stuff over the past couple of days. But, uh, just with the way that I've been this week, it's near impossible to record something that doesn't sound completely awful. I mean, no one wants to listen to me just go into a coughing fit every two minutes, so that's not good. But first off, what's happening on screen here? Well, um, this, uh, this game of domination just here, recorded this about an hour ago or whatever. And, uh, it was a fun game. It was a very hectic game. The enemy team were just throwing numbers at me all the way through. And uh, it felt at times as if I was just fighting the whole enemy team on my own. I mean, no disrespect to my team, it's just that they always ended up getting pushed around the map and I was just in a corner and like five people would come at me at one time and, uh, you know, I would take down a couple of them maybe, but in the end it just always ends up as a fucking shooting gallery for the enemy team and you end up dead pretty quickly when there's a lot of them shooting at you. A lot. And I actually felt like I done quite well. And uh, in this little scenario just here, you can see, I was sort of, you know, a little bit of uh, guerrilla warfare going on. You know, I would shoot one guy, I'd back up a little bit, wait for my next target, I'd shoot that guy, back up a little bit, retreat, and uh, I managed to actually get myself quite a few guys in a row in this particular streak here. But anyway, let's get to your questions. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Twitter, as per usual. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter already, then there is a link in the description down below, so make sure you're doing that if you want to know about stuff. I don't know, whenever I'm doing one of these Q&As, I tweet out asking you guys to ask me some questions, and if you possibly might have an interest in what I'm having for my dinner. No, I don't tweet shit like that, but you know, if you just want to know random shit, then Twitter's down there. Anyway, first question of today here comes from Kenny Bennett, and he's asking me what are your thoughts on the game Destiny? Now, uh, for, for the longest time, this game... I've just sort of put it on the sort of meh category. I've not really been too bothered about it, really. I haven't really seen enough of it to get excited about it. And I'm not usually someone to get excited about a game if I know nothing about it. Or if it's, you know, if I've not played one of the previous games in that series or whatever. If you don't know what to expect, then there's no real reason to just jump in and go, Yeah, it's gonna be amazing! Like, I don't know, like, nothing about this game. That being said, a few days ago, some information came out, and I believe that Destiny has the biggest budget when it comes to development and uh, advertising and marketing and all that sort of shit uh, out of any game ever made. Like, just a ridiculous budget. I think it's $500 million on it. So, surely, you know, a lot of money means that there's going to be, it's going to be a quality product. It's not just going to be just full of bugs and shit. I mean, obviously, money just doesn't make things just disappear, but it certainly helps. But, again, I don't really know enough about the game to get excited, and I haven't really researched the game thoroughly enough to know what I'm talking about let's say, but uh, it's a game I'm waiting to see more of, and uh, possibly at E3 they will show, in fact, I say possibly, you know they will, at E3 they'll show some more footage of it, and uh, maybe then we can come to some form of uh, informed sort of decision whether or not I'll be uh, excited for it or not, and uh, I got a bit shattered just there, you know, I ran around the corner like, yeah, I'm gonna kill a couple of these guys, and there was like five or six of them just looking at me, just, it wasn't good. Actually, I wanna look at the gameplay just here, what's about to happen here, it's just fucking Dirty man, honestly. I mean, it's this guy here. I totally outplay this guy. I was like, yeah, I'm fucking, you know, playing main tricks. That there, man. Like, I was gonna shoot at one guy, and it just, like, I saw him for a second. I was just like, oh, fuck, I swung my aim right around on him. And it was almost like one of those moments where I'm watching by my own gameplay, where it almost looks like I've got a fucking aimbot or something. Like, that's one of the reasons why a lot of people always say that on, like, cop plays and stuff. Like, oh my god, this guy's got an aimbot. Not everyone has a fucking aimbot, just sometimes when you're watching my gameplay, it looks a bit funny. Because you're only watching, not playing. But, back into the questions. Richard Samano asks, do you think DICE should bring back the AN-94? Definitely. They really, really should, and I think they will in a future DLC. They've been bringing back a lot of the old guns from uh, the Battlefield series. Uh, but the gun, I think, it would be awesome if they brought it back like it was in Bad Company 2. The, in Bad Company 2, that gun was a fucking monster. In Battlefield 3, it was a piece of shit. At least in my experience, whether some people might have liked it, I don't know. But 
Compared to Bad Company 2, it was a piece of shit. Sir Helsing asked me, the new Star Wars Battlefront game should be at this year's E3. Are you excited for it? Oh yes, I definitely am. I don't think it's going to be out this year though. I think that's more something for either next year or the year after that or whatever. But uh, I've had uh, both Battlefront games so far and they were both awesome, even though I never had an internet connection at the time. But I, I, for what I had of them, what I played of them on the local sort of multiplayer or whatever when I was younger on my PlayStation 2, it was fucking awesome. So to think about like an online experience where it's all, you know, modern technology, new engine, I'm guessing it's going to be on Frostbite 3, it should be incredible. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that game. Next up here we have a question from Brad Reed and he asked me what's the most difficult thing about becoming successful on YouTube. The most difficult thing is getting through that first couple of months or however long it takes to just get in the first few subscribers. Because I, I know how demoralizing it can be the first few months where you're putting out content, like putting out, just pumping out content and you're getting like 5 views and 10 views and just no one wants to see it. And that's just the way that the internet is. Not everyone wants to watch everyone all the time. So that, that first few months or first month or whatever, however long it takes for it to sort of take off is definitely the most difficult time. Then again, after that, you need to maintain that. You need to up your standards. You need to find your flow, your rhythm, how you actually make things and just learn how to make better content and um, eventually people respond to that. Just like I've said in the past, perseverance and just learning what people want to see, how they want it presented, and just how to do things is uh, is very, very important and it's difficult to push through that first couple of months. Just, just work at it. And now we're gonna end on this. King Joffrey asked me, have you ever punched an animal? If so, what? I do not know what kind of fucking question that is. Like, where do you pull that question from? Maybe it's because the guy's King Joffrey. Maybe that's why he's fucked in the head. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Again, I apologize. I'm still ill and I, I still sound fucking weird. But hopefully this will pass in the next few days. Oh, please pass. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>